same way. And I want to ask you about that because that's the reports that I'm seeing is that they, they recognize there's some kind of tzorech, not that they're happy about it, but that there needs to be sort of a concession that's ne really never been made before where they say, okay, we're allowing quotas to be drafted. So wh why is that? Is that because of the war? Is that because they've just met the deadline? It's been literally 25, 30 years, the Tal law and so many different things that have been kicked down the road and again and again. So what is it about now that made this, I guess, major earth shattering shift? Well, there is two answers for it. One, the war, as you said, people in Israel keep dying. If it's soldiers, if it's civilians in terror attacks. Yesterday, there was a 50-year-old man. He was actually an IDF guy. He was killed in a terror attack not far from Be'er Sheva. And soldiers keep dying all the time. In the north, Hezbollah keeps shooting non-stop rockets. So this is going to be a long war. And people know that the Israeli society knows that people are actually fighting for the home. You know, in America, you never, you, you don't have a border that somebody wants to invent in New York and come and kill everybody in their beds. Here in Israel, Hamas, it used to be like, you know, 300 meters, 500 meters from the house. So people know it's completely different than, than what happened till now. And another reason is that many people, okay, like uh, Bezalel Smotrich, he's the finance minister now or uh, Simcha Rotman and some other uh, Knesset members that were always on the Haredi side, they always said, we are not touching the Haredi community, said, um, well, our uh, love Haredi uh, families, brothers and sisters, whatever, we need you. We want you to join the IDF. You must join the IDF. So when you have people like Smotrich, who always support the Haredi side, saying, we need you. There is a, a limit how much we can still uh, keep, uh, you know, working like that, that the Haredi will not join the IDF. This time, we need you. So when you have people who always supported you, calling you out to join the IDF, everybody understands there must be a change. And other, more than that, this is the first time since I remember myself, and I'm 44, that the act that the actually IDF called out for the Haredi to join. It was the chief of staff, the IDF, it was the Minister of 